Hi, I'm Sid. And I'm Brandy. You know, a lot of people like the idea of growing their own vegetable garden, but don't know where to begin. Starting a vegetable garden is easy and a great way to get great tasting fresh herbs and vegetables throughout the whole summer. Let's take a look at what you'll need to get started. If this is your first time gardening, you'll want to start small, no larger than 100 square feet. Remember, most vegetables need at least six hours of direct sunlight, so make sure that your garden is in a sunny spot in your yard. That's right, and remember, some areas that are sunny in the spring become shady in the summer when the leaves grow back on the trees. Vegetables don't like to sit in wet soil, so be sure that your garden has good drainage. If this isn't possible, you can consider a raised garden bed, which sits above the ground level to ensure good soil drainage. You want to prepare the bed in early spring when the soil is moist but not muddy. Choose a spot away from trees or shrubs to avoid their roots from spreading into your garden. Next, carve out a square for your plot and remove the layer of grass. You want to keep as much of the topsoil as possible. Hey, how did I get stuck with the heavy lifting? Now that you've cleared your garden plot, have a look at your soil. You'll want to avoid sandy or clay-like textures. To test for clay conditions, grab a handful and squeeze it together. If it remains in a compact ball, you likely have excessive clay. This can be easily treated by adding sand or organic compost to your existing soil. And you'll want to use a pitchfork to turn the soil about a foot deep. This lets in air so the roots can breathe. Remove any weeds or rocks that you see. Next, add a quality garden soil, such as miracle Grow garden soil. Ideally, you want to mix your garden soil 50-50 with your existing soil. Because often, native soil is low in nutrients. Proper soil has a high nutrient base and provides good drainage, oxygen, and root support. Be sure that you can reach all areas of your garden for planting, weeding, and harvesting. Patio stones make ideal pathways so that everything is within arm's reach. And to keep your garden looking its best, create a border to keep grass and weeds from migrating back into the garden. Now that you have your garden plot cleared, how do you decide what vegetables to grow? That's easy. Plant what you and your family like to eat. Tomatoes, lettuce, and cucumbers are great for beginners because they're hardy and grow rather quickly. Now once you've decided what you want to plant, the best gardens begin with a plan. Use graph paper to sketch out your new garden. Each plant type has different spacing requirements, so carefully read plant tags and seed packets to determine how much space you'll need between each plant. Be generous with your spacing. You'll be amazed at how big some plants will grow. You'll need to decide whether to start from seeds or from plants. Vegetables, such as carrots, lettuce, and beets, are easy to start with seeds. Others, like tomatoes and peppers, are best started from plants, especially for first-time gardeners. And now you're ready to start planting.